Hey, good well, morning. <laughs> it's actually the evening. We would never drink beer in the morning. Um, top of the top of the evening to you. <laughs> uh, uh, we don't drink beer in the morning. No, no, no. Family. Just orange juice. <laughs> um, with vodka. With vodka. Okay, you yeah. know, if we're trying to. Yeah, uh, if you're air clapped and during the rut, troubled years. Um, so anyway, we are. <laughs> that's Joe. He's Blaze. And uh, we are uh, with Electric Land. Uh, this is uh, Music Villa's Electric Land. And uh, today, uh, what are we going to talk about, Joe? We got these wonderful new Eastman guitars. These are their first solid body electrics, SB 59s. Kind of look familiar. Yeah, looks like something else from oh. 59 I've seen. It's not it a Strat. A, it's not a Tele. Not a Strat. Not a Tele. Oh. It's, uh, I don't it's know. Kind of, it's very classic. Very looking. classic. It's very it looks like yeah. very fifty nine. Yeah. Very, very They've been 59. making these in China for years and years and years. <laughs> this is a class it's part of the culture over there. And uh, so yeah, they're bringing it to America finally. So um Yeah. Yeah, they look pretty cool. They look awesome. Totally. So, yeah, yours is shinier um, than mine. Mine's shiny. Mine looks like uh, you know, so I just watched the Eric Clapton twelve bar Life in Twelve Bars that yeah, documentary. I started it last night. Wow. Yeah, it was it pumped my nads. It was. I skipped around. I was like, "Get me to the bad stuff." When does his life go to? Sh oh man, yeah. no. It was so actually, I watched <laughs> it the first night, and I just because I started it late, and I stopped it right before the bad stuff happened. Oh. So I was in this great yeah. mood, and then the next <laughs> night, he's he's totally just getting wasted and uh, drunk, and, and he's cognac. all upset about uh, what's her face there, uh, Layla Patty J Patty, <laughs> and it's just awkward, you know. Uh, so anyway, um, but she was beautiful. <laughs> I, I give him that, and uh, her, you know, she she was cool. So we've gone but, from uh, you uh, know, talking about guitars, talking about Patty. Yeah, and, so yeah. <laughs> just talking about life here. But anyway, uh, uh, so it was just awesome, and it actually made me think of this style of guitar. He went, he went to. He, there was a comment in there when he was with Cream. He was commenting on how he wanted to get his guitar to kind of sound like that through Junior Wells through his amp and all that. Mm -hmm. And so he found a guitar that looks just like these. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they were easy to come by back then. Uh, it's, kinda, it's, my, it's a little hard to find them these days. And uh, the, anyway, uh, uh, he did that, and, uh, and, he, and, he, uh, and, and it sounded awesome. And it made funny, me start thinking about these guitars again. Funny side. Killer sound. Yeah. And a funny side note on Clapton, he gave, he had a wonderful... Uh, 59 guitar much like these gave it to George Harrison took George Harrison's girlfriend yeah he thought yeah you're, like a guitar you know, for, I don't know when you take a man's wife <laughs> gifts next, just ain't gonna help and it's that not, guitar is called Brownie okay still lives today yeah yeah got stolen George recovered it from Mexico there's a whole story oh, wow. about Brownie oh that's cool yeah, yeah look yeah. that up kids alright alright but anyway uh, mine looks like uh, yours is all shiny so mine's all shiny mine looks like uh, you know yeah, yeah. he was doing a bunch of blow with Dwayne Allman and he <laughs> left it outside overnight and it rained but uh, it's got a lot of character <sighs> that way. So yeah. Anyway, uh, what what can we talk? Wow. What can we say about these things? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So the 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 what Blaze just touched on the finishes are totally different. This is a nitrocellulose lacquer finish on this bad boy. So totally is shiny, buffed out, uh, much like it would have been new back in the day. This is a varnish <laughs> finish on this guy. So it's uh, it's actually more like what they do on violins. So it's hand rubbed varnish as opposed to a sprayed many you know multiple layers of lacquer. This is literally what happens on a violin or a cello. Yeah, and you've got um, a little aging thing going on. I don't, and, uh, I don't I, think the other company ever did that. I think this is an Eastman yeah. thing. And, they uh, are a violin maker. Yeah, so. and uh, um, I'm not usually big on the whole distress thing and pre-worn stuff and all that, but this is actually pretty sweet. It feels this pretty good, pretty cool. huh? Yeah, it feels good. It's got the vibe. You know, it feels the, great. The necks on these things are like, they're not baseball bat chunky. They're To me, they're just right. They're kind of round. Yeah. They're... Uh, they're like, they're like what a '50s. Like I've played some '50s guitars like these, and they're cl these are closer to those. They're like a real '50s neck, not like this. You know, some people get out get out of control. And the '50s neck is a huge Big baseball sucker. bat. Not yeah. always, not necessarily. These yeah. feel great. Ebony um, fretboard. That's pretty ebony fret nice little touch. You know. Yep. And they great. were wise to that was partially so they could ship these around the world because rosewoods. Yeah. Well, and it's a denser wood. Days. It's mm -hmm. it's you know. Anything that helps dense, more dense, more sustained, you know, it's in the, mm -hmm. you know, probably gonna last the, a little longer. I don't know. Customs Looks cool. from the other company had ebony, so it's it's in the vein of. Um, yeah. Tuners, you know, are totally legit. They're goto. Um, what kind of pickup? There's a. Yeah, yeah. There's these, two different pickups in these, right? Yep, yep. So these are they're both Seymour Duncan pickups. Really legit. Good. Pickups. That's a name brand that you can trust. <laughs> um, these guys are classic, uh, classic fifties. Seymour Duncan classic fifty nines. Um, those are antiquities, which actually I, I like. Is that another name for antique? 
<laughs> they're antiqued, so you can see it. They're antiquity. That's yeah, how you they know. They look older. That's how yeah, you know. Very antique. I was going to get my grill. You might find these like at an antique store. <laughs> Next to some old cans. And, some old cans and, and stuff. Old, some old fodder. Old yeah. Davenports. <laughs> <laughs> and some slacks. <laughs> and some slacks. <laughs> All um, right. Um, those are actually, I like your pickups better. Oh, um, thanks, Joe. <laughs> I just got, I recently got a set of these in my guitar. And, uh,. I really, really enjoy them. They're cool. So these are these are Seymour Duncan trying to build like a real deal old school PAF pickup. Uh, I believe they're not wax potted. They are made with older materials. Uh, it sounds old. <laughs> you sound old, man. Yeah. <laughs> that old time of rock and roll. Yeah. Soothe the soul. That wasn't what we were planning on playing today. Okay. Oh. Awesome. They're fun. They really feel great. Man, they play nice. They feel good. They're, yeah. Uh, and just so you guys know, the rest of, I mean, you guys can look it all up. Uh, just quick things, but they are solid maple caps. Uh, one piece mahogany bodies. One piece mahogany necks. They got all the right stuff. Um, yeah. It's pretty they sweet. They feel really good, man. I don't know. And, and they're a great price, too. You know, look it up. It's a. Uh, and what are these, like 1600 bucks or something? Yeah, that one's like 17 This case. one's. These are great. 12 1300 They're awesome. I'm a, I'm a big. Um, I don't know if you all heard of Eastman before but uh man they're really cool um they uh I, I own a, a mandolin and two jazz they make great jazz guitars and uh you know hollow bodies and whatnot um great at flat top acoustics they're killer I, I own a flat top a mandolin two jazz boxes thinking about a one of these too I got a shirt too tattoo underneath the shirt oh, oh yeah, let me show you that <laughs> no, oh, too much hair sorry it's really small print in the belly button inside. <laughs> so uh, we'll do another video. Can we not on that. get a close up on that? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, um, anyway, yeah. You know what? I'm I'm kind of getting a little thirsty with all yeah, this I'm, blues playing. I'm parched. Yeah, with all this blues playing, uh, man, it just it gets me real thirsty. It makes me start thinking about those uh, again that Clapton documentary. I'm parched, and when you know, the cognac wears off, tying one up, I reach for a beer. Yeah. He's tying one on, yelling at the audiences. Yelling at the audience. I want to hear the tapes of that. I, I wanna, was just playing then. I, I bet it was good. It was, it might have been, yeah, he had some sound. great songs during that period. I mean, I have a, what is I, that, Ocean Boulevard God, I should have brought album. it this morning. I got this Clapton record from that era, and it, it's good. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's clearly I, I, wasted on the cover. Yeah, he uh, and I think he even comments in the thing where he's like, it's very, uh, uh, I don't know how this all turned into a big Clapton thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even playing our Clapton I, I music. Know. <laughs> yeah, well, we might, you know what, I'm going to play some, while you're getting that beer out, I'm going to play a little... You know, oh. my bastardization of oh. Strange Brew. You know, we like to listen to when we drink beer, Strange Brew. <laughs> Don't spill this. Just a little taster. We drank the other half of this before we started. Yeah. So, uh, so what do we got here? Well, this is a Bridger <laughs> Brewing local 
uh, local brewery here. Uh, we love this supports brewery. a lot of live music. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's really uh, um, good guys, good gals, good, good beer. Guys, yeah, uh, Daniel over there, uh, Daniel brewing it up. Yep, wanted to be a part of this. He loves the show. And uh, he Dave. wanted to be on camera, but we we don't want him on camera. No, <laughs> group. We love the Daniel. Beer, buddy. We love Dave. But uh, no, uh, awesome. yeah. So uh, we're doing the Lee Metcalf. We've got the Lee Metcalf kind of a here. Pale ale, very citrus. Let's taste it. Oh, it feels good touching the lips. Mm. That's good. Mm. Yeah, it's tickling my liver. When I play Bridge of Brewing, this is the beer I always get. <laughs> the Lee. What do you What do you yeah. drink when you play there? Uh, I, I get a lot of the Lee Metcalf. What do you drink when you eat pizza there? Um, well, I, I do the Lee Metcalf, Lee. actually, because it's not too Lee. heavy. And then I'll do a Vigilante IPA, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. My wife loves the Ghost Town local local roasted coffee. Oh, yeah. uh, that, uh, uh, stout. This one. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that that is awesome. She loves that. She's not a big beer drinker, but she loves that. I always drink anyway, the Lee. Anyway, uh, so yeah. yeah. That's my go-to. Which one? Cheers. The Lee. I always drink the Yeah, the Lee is great. great. Yeah. yeah. So uh, check it out. They got great pizza, too. And uh, they do a lot of great concerts over in the summer, too. They got all these killer they do. things they going on in their parking lot. They do. great series going on there. Uh, yeah. They give us free beer, so I love them. <laughs> yeah. And Just a little great, note to all great, the other breweries. Great, uh, great pizza. Yeah. Music and Muscles Night, Wednesday night. Yeah. Pretty damn cool. So uh, anyway, that was lovely. So are we already signing off here? I think so. Let's okay. do it. What um, do we got? What are we going to... We don't even know what that... We didn't prepare for this. You know? <laughs> we had a... <laughs> well, we were talking about Clapton. You were doing a little <coughs> strange brew. Can we uh, do another bastardized version of it? Yeah, we're going to bastardize all the Clapton songs. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, that's Joe. He's Blaze. And uh, we are Electric Land by Music Villa. Uh, come check it out. We have these uh, guitars in stock. You can come buy these guitars from us. Yes. Um, uh, we 13, love Eastman. Thank you. Thirteen hundred bucks. Seventeen hundred bucks. Yep, somewhere around there. Right around and, there. And uh, thanks, Bridger Brewing, for um, uh, helping us out this morning. Uh, and we had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And uh, come check out some more videos down the road. Eastman SB fifty nine. Woo! And whatever this one's called. <laughs> Antique varnish. Antiquity. <laughs> Go get yourself a Davenport and one of these.